Hello everyone, this is Amy from Teach With Wings and today we are going to move right along because I'm going to tell you 10 ways you can use Microsoft Teams with your classes. The first one is to use this conversation section to make an announcement. If you just type the at sign and start typing in the name of your team, you can make any sort of announcement that you need to. Maybe make sure you bring your To Kill a Mockingbird book to class on Tuesday. Uh, and when you tag your team in it, it will automatically email them so they don't miss your announcement. The next one is to use this conversation section as a place for academic discussion. At the university level now, sometimes up to 75% of a student's grade is based on how well they have these online academic discussions. We are not teaching that at the earlier levels. They will not be successful. Those skills don't always transfer from the language arts classroom onto the online forum. So what you would do here is just post a question, ask students to respond in an academic way, respond to uh, other classmates' answers, um, and actually ask them to cite some sources there so that they're getting that practice. The third one is to use this conversation section as a way to provide students quick access to the things that you want them to have access to. So here you'll see that I provided quick access to a Flipgrid, quick access to um, a Padlet, a SurveyMonkey, a Microsoft Form. That way when they come in, they know right where to find that. The other way you can provide quick access for your students is here adding a tab. Here you can click this plus sign and click any of these. Let's say there's a website you use often in class, you can provide a quick tab for them to click on. If you have a specific page in OneNote or a specific survey that you uh, use multiple times a year, that would be a perfect place to put that. Or a document that you want students to quickly refer back to multiple times throughout the year, you can add it there as a tab. All right, number five, this files section. If there are certain files that you want students to easily be able to access, just add them here in the files section so that students always know where they are. You can create a new channel, which is number six. Here you'll see that for this team, I created a new channel called Movie Making Challenge Project. So for a specific project or unit of study, you can create a new channel. You do that by clicking these three dots and going to Add Channel. And then it gives you this section that is specifically designated for everything uh, referring to that. So here all of our conversations and files for this project would be in one place so that they're easy to find. Number seven, eight, and nine all deal with assignments. If you click back into your general area and click on assignments, you can create an assignment right here for your students so that whenever they go to this section, they see all of your assignments listed in this great calendar area. Let's say you want to take it uh, one step further. You can review student work right in this section. What is really nice um, is if you have them turn in their work here right inside Teams, you'll end up with a list of all of your students and whether or not they've turned it in. If they have turned it in, it's very easy to click and grade each one. And that brings me to number nine. If you want to take it a step further, you can grade and add feedback for your students. You click here to put the feedback in. If you've assigned points, you can put the grade right there, and then you can return it to the students right within Teams. And our final number 10 way that you can use Teams with your students right away is to access your OneNote notebook. I am a huge fan of OneNote, and here you can access your notebook straight from within Teams. You can also edit in OneNote. You can open it in OneNote online from here or into the app for 2016 or you can work directly in your OneNote notebook straight from here. So I hope you enjoyed 10 ways to use Teams with your classes right away. Make sure you visit teachwithwings.com to go more in depth on all of these processes. Thank you, have a great day.